it is that time again. It is time to decorate the mantle for halfway to Halloween. It's April, it's six months until the most magical month of the year. So yeah, this is not gonna come out on the exact date of halfway to Halloween, uh, but I want it to already be decorated by then. So um, if you're new here, first of all, welcome to the Spooky Family. We're excited to have you. Every single year we do a little halfway to Halloween mantle decorating, where I just decorate the mantle basically all Halloween-y. Gets me excited for the season which is right around the corner it starts in june anyway longest story longer we're gonna start decorating this mantle for halfway to halloween which still has my usual stuff on it before we do i wanted to mention the sponsor for today's video which is scentbird and if you've been around here for a while then you've heard me jab my jaws about scentbird because i'm obsessed i never leave my house without a scentbird fragrance in my purse or in my car. If you haven't heard of Scentbird before, Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service where you can try a different designer fragrance every single month. And the Scentbird fragrances come in this packaging that makes it super convenient to take it wherever you need to go. Also, I just love trying new fragrances for different seasons or different moods. And all you have to do is twist the cap and then you can spray it directly on and then you're good to go. Also, if you wanna see what fragrance you have, you just prop open this little cover and then you can see your generous 30 day supply that you get. And I got some new fragrances this month from Scentbird uh, to try for spring. The first one is, where is this one? I'm obsessed with this. The first one I got is Valentino Donna Rosa Verde. The scent profile is ginger, bergamot, and Turkish rose. And this smells so good. Has a nice citrusy scent, nice and fresh. I don't know, it just smells like springtime to me. Next up, this one is called My Burberry Blush by Burberry. And the scent profile is pomegranate, green apple, wisteria, rose, and lemon. This one has a really nice fruity spring scent. So if you like fruity scents, it's not bubblegum fruity. It's more of just like when you think of a spring kind of fruity meets floral. Also got this Christian Siriano one. This one is called Silhouette. So the scent profile, Jasmine Petal, Amber Wood, Madagascar Vanilla Absolute, and Cashmere Musk. This one is definitely one of those mm, good evening scents. Just like a sensual, vanilla-y, musky combo. Mm. So if you're wanting to give Semper to try, whether you're wanting to try some new fragrances for spring or you're wanting to switch up your scent in general, I have a special offer for you. You can click the link down in my description box and use the code JADETHELIBRA2 to get 55% off your first month at Scentbird. So that's only about $8 for your first month, which is a steal of a deal. Anyways, we're gonna jump into this halfway to Halloween mantle, which doesn't look a whole lot like Halloween right now. Well, this is not my version of Halloween anyway. <laughs> this is just normal for us over here, right? <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna have Dallas carry up some decorations and we're gonna start decorating for halfway to Halloween. I'm so excited. I hope you're excited. I'm gonna switch cameras because we'll talk through this. We'll just do a decorate with me style video since it's a little area. Usually it doesn't take us too long. So I figured instead of doing a voiceover that would take 2.5 seconds, we would just talk through it, hang out, chit chat. I of course always ask your opinion. I know I can't hear you over there, but I'm always like, does this look all right? Anyways, that's what we're gonna do today. So let's get to decorating. Here we go. I'm gonna switch cameras. I'll see you in a second. Right, so we're back at the mantle. I got everything off except for this mirror, which I think I'm gonna keep up here because it's one, really heavy, and two, I don't have anywhere else to put it. So, I don't know. We're just gonna start getting out jack-o'-lanterns is what we're gonna do. <laughs> All right, so for either side of the mirror, I was thinking these little jack-o'-lantern witch hat. Excuse the lighting if it starts, if it seems like it's getting bright and then dark. The, um, it's of course, partly cloudy outside, so it gets really, really bright and then it gets dark all of a sudden. So anyways, I was thinking these little jack-o'-lantern head, witchy hat, pedestal guys. I'm usually looking at the bottom to see where I got it, but I got this guy at Home Goods a couple years ago. I have two of them. So sitting on either side of the mirror, and honestly, I'm just looking at this sweet little jack-o'-lantern face for the first time this year, and I'm so excited. I'm getting all the spooky feels already. I'm like holding him like, <laughs> I'm so happy for us. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a jack-o'-lantern guy, pedestal, witch hat guy. I'm gonna put one on each side. I don't know what we're doing in the center. We might end up doing our tradition where we put our headless horseman in the center. That might be what's happening, but I'm not sure yet. Because you know, we just, sometimes the Headless Horseman always has to be the centerpiece. I like this already. I like what I'm seeing. I'm, I'm pumped, everybody. 
if you get it, pumped, pumpkin, pump, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, all right, and I'll zoom you back in here in a second. But first, I really wanna put some branchy trees. These guys were already on either side over here. These branchy trees, got these from Target during their clearance last year, their Halloween clearance. And okay, so here's a story about these Target branchy trees and Halloween clearance. So I had all this footage from a Halloween clearance last year, November 1st. I went out. Can you, I don't even know if you can see me, but you can hear me, I know. I'm jabbing my jaws, so it'd be impossible not to hear me. Um, so I had all this footage from, what are, I'm out of breath already. <laughs> Anyways, I had all this footage from November 1st. We went out Halloween clearance hunting. And then I also did some spooky family mail. It was like a whole video. And I edited some of it. If you remember, right around Halloween time, like right after Halloween, I got really sick. And it wasn't just morning sickness. Some people thought it was just morning sickness because I was pregnant and hadn't told anyone yet. But no, it was actual, it was, it was a combination of the first trimester and um, whatever this plague was. So it was a double whammy and I was out. Like I couldn't even edit, I couldn't do anything. I could hardly lift my head off the pillow for two weeks. And by that time it was already into holiday season and we had to get out and go holiday hunting and all that kind of stuff. Anyways, I had all this footage. So I was gonna actually post it during halfway to Halloween I guess I should be doing stuff as I'm telling the story. But I was gonna post a whole video, that whole like uh, lost footage video for halfway to Halloween because I thought I had all the footage. Well, I have all of the footage except for what I actually saw in stores during clearance time. I deleted all that footage. I have no idea where it's at. So, um, anyways, longest story longer. That, that video is not gonna be posted now because I don't have the goods to make it a video, which bums me out, but it is what it is. Anyways, uh, longest story longer, I got these branchy trees during Halloween clearance, went to Target, and they had these branchy trees waiting for me, and I got them, and I love them. Anyways, okay, moving on. So now I have absolutely no idea what we're, what we're doing next, what we're putting where, what kind of jack-o'-lanterns we're doing. Okay, part of me is having a change of heart. Part of me doesn't want to do the jack-o'-lanterns and wants to do ghosties instead. What if we did ghosts? Would you be disappointed? Part of me wants to do the ghosts in like all black and white. But then part of me is like, if I really want that boost of October of Halloween, then I want jack-o'-lanterns. But we did jack o last year, but I don't mind that. Cause I like, I, and now I'm just talking to myself, but you know what I mean? Maybe we can do a mix of things, I don't know. You know what we could put in the center instead of the Headless Horseman? We could always do this spooky house. Oh my gosh. Is that what I wanna do? Okay, it still has this thing on it. Let me get this taken off. So I have this spooky house that I got from Cracker Barrel, was it a couple of years ago or last year? I can't remember. But it has these bats on the back. It has like a bat projector. I don't know how it will work out with a mirror because I kind of like the spooky house. What do you think? All right, so we got a spooky house there. This little Joanna Parker guy is technically a little container. I think it's like a sugar container or something, but I like the way he looks. He's so cute. So I kind of want to put him up there, like a little vintage Halloween vibe. I don't know where we're going to put him yet. We might have to stack them on some books. Maybe I need to go get more of my jack-o'-lanterns. I have these things we're gonna set out. We also have some more spooky houses if we wanted to do more spooky houses. Okay, I found some more jack-o'-lanterns. I can't tell you how excited I am just to be pulling all of these Halloween things out. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just so excited. Is anyone else the most excited for Halloween decor hunting season? I've been seeing a lot of people saying that they think that Halloween season is gonna start early this year. Um, or, you know, Halloween decor season. Uh, but, I mean, we'll have this conversation. We're going to have this conversation. You know we will. We're going to do a whole, you know, shopping guide that we do every year. Our Halloween decor shopping guide. But I'm not so sure that it's going to come out early this year. Because I don't, I don't know. How does this look, first of all? 
But we'll get to my theory. I don't even care if it matches or if it doesn't match or if it's too much or not enough. Well, it's never gonna be not enough, but you know what I mean. No, it looks good, but I feel like we need some branchy trees as always. Um, anyway, my theory with this Halloween, whoa, season almost dropped this, my ha this Halloween season is, I think I have the same theory every year, but you can tell me if you agree or you disagree. That's fine too, if you don't agree. But I think stores in general have a bunch of summer clearance to get out, like get out of their hair. Like I know places like Target and uh, even at home, like they usually get their summer stuff on clearance and get it cleared out before they put Halloween there. Um, but also what I've noticed with stores, and this is why I don't think it's going to come out early, is a lot of the resellers, every year if you're the first people to put out Halloween, a bunch of people will clear out the shelves and resell it. And I feel like what happened, I want to say it was 2020, this happened to at home or what I noticed is a bunch of resellers went in, cleared off all the shelves and then, um, there was nothing left. Like they didn't have a lot of stock for the rest of the season. So they just had empty shelves for like three months. And so I think to avoid that, what I've noticed the last couple of years is that instead of stuff coming out earlier, they sprinkle things out. Maybe it comes out still in June, our usual time in June. But even then, at home used to put stuff out middle of June. And now I'm not seeing really anything at, at home until after 4th of July around here. And they used to put stuff out early. Um, and I know they still do in some areas. It just depends, I think, on your store. But I think it's going to be after 4th of July for a lot of stores. You may see some things trickle out end of June at at home and home goods. But I think after 4th of July, and I think they're just going to be slowly trickling stuff out per usual because I feel like the last couple of years, when they put a bunch of stuff out at once, it's gone and then they have nothing to sell. Like the stores have nothing on their shelves during Halloween season or they just have empty shelves, which maybe that's not why they do it. Maybe there's like a whole other reason or stores are just annoyed by us Halloween lovers. <laughs> maybe that's it too. Um, but I want to say it probably has to do with the fact that they don't want to look like they're an empty store. You know what I mean? But also, um, it might have to do with the fact that just to kind of crack down on resellers and that kind of thing, maybe they're trickling things out slowly. But I think end of June, well, you know, we're going to have a whole video on this. We're, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, love this. It's just something simple. I don't know, like, you know, I like to do like the whole, like I like my mantle to usually look like it's like a spooky museum or something, like just a bunch of spooky clutter because I can't ever make any decisions. So I just put it all up there. But I feel like this year it's going to be less for me to take down when I have a newborn. I'm not, this isn't minimalism at all, <laughs> but for me, <laughs> this is looking very symmetrical. I don't know if that bothers anyone. It actually soothes my Libra soul to see balance, but some people might be like, this is too balanced. What if we do another spooky house? Does that go? I don't know if I like that because I don't know if I like that the house is the same height as this jack-o'-lantern. Like that bothers me. I like it to be a variation or maybe we should scratch that and do so maybe we put a lantern here instead that's again the same height what are we doing what are we doing more branchy trees i know some people are tired of these branchy trees but i can never get enough so <laughs> you don't have to decorate with them but i will have the most branchy trees okay i feel like are we done? I'm just kidding. I don't think we're done. But, okay, we have these jack-o'-lanterns. These are my favorite. I decorate with them every year. There's something about them I love so much. Got these from Five Below. And I love them, but there might be too many now. I don't know if that's too many jack-o'-lanterns or if that's just blasphemy. If it's just, there's no such thing as too many jack-o'-lanterns, which I agree. I know this is so symmetrical and I'm not mad at it. 
I just want the most jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. Okay, I have this little sign that says trick or treat on it. That can maybe go there. I don't know if that goes. I don't know if I like that vibe. It kind of brings me to a Ray Dunn place that I'm not really wanting to go to. <laughs> We're done with Ray Dunn, y'all. I know I have other things. Like, where's my little dangly leg, guys? We might just have to bust out the ghosts. When in doubt, bring out a ghost. Do you think the ghosts go? What do you think? I think he's cute in there. We got a couple more ghost options. I don't know what we're putting on this side right here. No clue. This one here. Should we zoom you in? We cannot have any Halloween mantle without our creepy cloth. I just ran up and down the stairs, everybody. Okay, we're just gonna throw it up here. That's what we're gonna do. Ghoul is out of breath. She needs a pickle break. Man, a pickle really does sound good right now. Are you even decorating for Halloween if you're not eating a pickle? <laughs> I don't know what happened here, but I like whatever twisty thing happened here that we did not make happen on this side. I want it to look like someone hasn't lived here in 300 years. You know what I mean? I feel like that works. And I don't think I'm going to do, normally I do a whole drapey, Creepy cloth situation up top, but honestly, given the situ the current situation, the current circumstances, aka the pumpkin belly that's happening right now, I'm not gonna get up on a step stool and do it. I like this. This is this is this is good for me. Okay, let's work on the floor because I want to put some stuff on the floor. Thinking we'll start with oh branchy trees. That's where we always start. I have a couple more of these ones from the ones from Target and stacked pumpkin guys. They're not the exact same, but I don't know that I'm that concerned about it. They're, I think they're still fun. Or maybe I'm gonna put them on either side like this. They're still fun enough to where I'm not that worried about it. I know a witchy hat maybe doesn't exactly go with our theme, but I still thought this like witchy hat Stacked on some books. Actually, somebody from the Spooky family sent this. Do I want that here or do I want that over here? I might want it over here because because there was something else Spooky family sent over that I really want to put down here. Okay, 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 okay. How cool is this? So this tombstone was made by Tom, Tom Coster, and I am so excited about this. I've been wanting to mention this in Spooky family mail but all the recent spooky family mail has been spooky baby mail. So it didn't exactly fit in this spooky baby mail, but I've been dying to mention it and decorate with it, but I haven't had a chance to. And so now here we are. So I figured I'd show you guys. So Tom makes these and uh, Tom's shop is Studio Nocturne. This one says, here lies Jade the Libra 1692, forever your ghoul. <laughs> Tom, thank you so much if you're watching. So sorry, I'm just now putting it in my video, but I've been looking for an excuse to decorate with it and here we are. It is halfway to Halloween. It is perfect timing. We're gonna put it right here. I'll have Tom shop down in the description box for you. Studio Nocturne73.myshopify.com. Nerding out about it. I'm so excited about it. Okay, now I feel like we need to even it out with another tombstone on the other side, maybe, do you think? So on the other side, I was thinking, this one is not nearly as cool as Tom's tombstone, but I thought maybe it would kind of balance out the color scheme, add some gray in there, you know what I mean? This might be too big. All my other tombstones, I don't know where they're at. Where is everything? Why do I not know? <laughs> I'm to the point of Halloween decorations, everybody, where I don't know where anything is. <laughs> and that's where we're at in life. All right, and I also want to do some lanterns, I think. So maybe a lantern here. No, maybe a lantern there. All right, so I think that's it for that area. Let's put some throw pillows on. So for our chairs, I'm thinking this jack-o'-lantern pillow from Kirkland's a couple of years ago. And this just gets me the most excited because like, you know how some stores 
I'm gonna take a little breather. So you know how some stores, they do like, like I saw this pillow two years ago, and then you'll see it again the next year. And they also have a couple of new things they put out, but mainly it's like a lot of the popular stuff from the year before that they maybe didn't have enough stock of or whatever. I feel like this year is gonna be a really good year for like just all new collections, all new stuff. I feel like the shipping situation seems to be somewhat worked out where the last couple of years we saw like a lot of delayed shipping and all that kind of stuff. So I think this year we're gonna see some new stuff, like lots of new stuff. I'm thinking, I don't know, I'm just predicting now and nerding out because you know me, but oh, oh Lord. Now that we got off track, nerding out about Halloween stuff, we got a special guest today, everybody. Mr. Pumpkinhead Man. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. That sounded like it hurt. And we're gonna put him out since we're doing a full jack-o'-lantern theme. But don't worry, he hasn't replaced Mr. Skeleton. Over here, we're gonna put the other pillow. Oh, there's a piece of moss on our pillow. We're gonna put our pumpkin head pillow there. And I don't know that I'm doing anything too fancy on the side tables or anything. Just a little jack-o'-lantern maybe. And I think that's it. Are we done? Is that it? Anyways, now I need a pickle break and a nap. <laughs> Feels so good to look up there and see so much Halloween right now in April. It just feels like it's just giving me that little pick me up, like that little Halloween pick me up, that little boost. I hope decorating also got you in the spooky spirit, got you excited for the Halloween decor hunting season coming up and all the Halloween festivities. Anyways, thank you for decorating yet another halfway to Halloween mantle with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you could give it a thumbs up. Say, hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Yeah, let me know down in the comments if you're celebrating halfway to Halloween, if you're watching any scary movies, if you're decorating any little spaces, uh, or if you're always decorated, that's great too. Or if you wanna talk about anything we talked about in this video, any of the Halloween predictions, any Halloween decor predictions, do you have any ideas of what we're gonna see out there? Like any themes, uh, anything like that, let me know down in the comments. Anyways, now I'm just jabbing my jaws, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.